Fifteen years ago, amid the picturesque landscapes of Vermont, I stumbled upon a transformative concept that would reshape the very fabric of my existence. Minimalism. The catalyst for this revelation was an afternoon spent cleaning the cluttered abyss of my garage, a space choked with the remnants of a consumerist past. Little did I know that this seemingly mundane task would unlock a door to a life-changing journey. The muse for my metamorphosis came in the form of my neighbor's daughter, a paragon of minimalism. Her living space was a testament to the philosophy, clean lines, intentional simplicity, and an absence of superfluous belongings. Witnessing her serene existence, unburdened by the weight of material excess, planted the seed of change within me. The realization struck hard. Possessions, once perceived as markers of success and fulfillment, were not contributing to a better life. Instead, they were shackles, chaining me to a cycle of consumerism and clutter. Thus began my intentional quest to liberate myself from the unnecessary baggage that had accumulated over the years. The benefits of embracing minimalism proved profound. With each possession shed, I found myself gaining more than just physical space. There was a surplus of intangibles, more money, as the urge to mindlessly accumulate waned, more time, liberated from the tyranny of maintenance, more focus, directed towards the essential aspects of life, and perhaps most importantly, less stress, born from the unburdening of material obligations. Central to this transformation was the principle of quality over quantity. As I purged my belongings, I realized that owning fewer items allowed me to invest in higher quality. The shift in mindset was encapsulated in my participation in the Project 333 experiment, an initiative challenging individuals to pare down their wardrobe to 33 items. Every piece was carefully curated, embodying not just functionality, but durability and timelessness. Contrary to the misconception that minimalism equates to frugality, my journey revealed a nuanced truth. Spending more on fewer items could be not only justified, but also cost-effective in the long run. The acquisition of higher quality possessions translated to reduced frequency of replacements, equating to long-term financial prudence. It was a lifestyle upgrade without the shackles of increased expenditure. This principle of mindful consumption extended its reach into various aspects of my life. From towels to linens, shoes to coats, purses to watches, tools to cookware, furniture to decorations, travel mugs to personal care items, and even technology, the minimalistic lens was applicable and transformative. The reduction in quantity was not a sacrifice, but an emancipation, enabling a curated selection of possessions that brought genuine joy and utility. As I embraced minimalism, it became evident that its application was not exclusive to a particular income bracket. While the specifics might differ, the core principle remained universally relevant. Families with varying incomes could tailor their approach, making room for everyone to declutter their lives, irrespective of their current lifestyle. Considerations about income led me to the acknowledgement that minimalism was not a one-size-fits-all prescription. The application might vary, but the fundamental ethos, valuing quality over quantity, was universally accessible. Whether one had a modest income or considerable wealth, the pursuit of a simpler, more intentional life was within reach. The financial implications of minimalism extended beyond the immediate budget. Higher quality items, though often carrying a heftier price tag, tended to last longer. 
The longevity of possessions not only contributed to long-term cost savings, but also fostered a deeper connection with the items I owned. Each possession became a cherished entity, deserving of care and attention. A stark contrast emerged between my previous life of mindless consumption and the newfound approach of intentional ownership. The magic formula for a lifestyle upgrade wasn't tethered to an increase in income. Instead, it lay in the strategic selection of possessions, buying better but fewer items. This principle wasn't just about decluttering physical spaces. It was about decluttering the mind, fostering a sense of contentment and fulfillment that transcended material accumulation. The essence of minimalism was distilled into a simple truth. Less was indeed more. The reduction in possessions wasn't a sacrifice. It was a liberation from the chains of consumerism, a pathway to a richer, more meaningful life. In a world inundated with messages urging us to acquire more, minimalism served as a countercultural manifesto, advocating for a deliberate and mindful approach to ownership. As I reflect on this 15 year journey, the impact of minimalism on my life is immeasurable. It's not just about the physical possessions I've shed, but the mental and emotional baggage as well. The principles of intentional living have permeated every facet of my existence, creating a ripple effect that extends beyond the tangible. In a society that often equates success with material wealth and possessions, minimalism stands as a quiet rebellion, a testament to the idea that a fulfilling life isn't measured by the things we own, but by the experiences we cherish and the relationships we cultivate. The journey continues, propelled by the unwavering belief that the magic of minimalism lies not in what we discard, but in what we retain, a life rich in meaning, purpose, and the joy of enough. Please go ahead liking, subscribing, and sharing with friends to support our channel. Before you go, Help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.